Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Georgie Burns and I'm here to show you how I made this Christmas card. I made this Christmas card using the stamp set Winter Woods and I'm using that Christmas tree. Um, I also used this Star of Light just for the Merry Christmas. Um, the card stock I used is an white card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. Scored it four and one eighth, folded it in half. I have a blue piece of cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. Also have a white piece which I've already stamped in there inside. May your season be peaceful and your new year be bright. And that will go on the inside. Right. I also have two pieces of smoky slate. They measure one and three quarters by five and a half. One and three quarters by five and a half. I have two pieces of whisper white. The whisper white. It's not whisper white. It's just white cardstock. At one and three eighths by five and three eighths yeah. and they will sit on top of there I have already um, embossed these with I think you've seen it before this embossing folder full of snowflakes it's a generic one there is no name on it means I've had it for years and they will sit on top of the blue and now I've also got, let's get the first one sorted, three inches. Right, a blue piece, night and navy, by three inches and by four and three eighths. Smoky slate, by two and seven eighths and four and a quarter. And a white piece at two and a half by four and one eighth. And that will sit all like that when it's all done. It will sit on top like that. But first we need to do our stamping. And I'm only stamping in night and navy. And we're going to stamp the tree. So I've got my tree. I've got my night and navy. And ink up the tree. And we're going to stamp that low down the piece of card. Because we've got to get our Merry Christmas at the top. I don't think I've done it low enough. Oh yeah. So, And then with our Merry Christmas, I'm going to turn it around. And I'm going to stamp Merry Christmas. Make sure that's straight on the top there. I think that's wonky. Oh no, it's not. And that, believe it or not, is our stamping done. So, just give that a quick shake. While we um, let it dry and we'll glue these bits down right um, when I did the draw for a, when I reached a thousand subbies the person who came third hasn't contacted me Anne Morrison now, Anne, you've got until the 1st of November to contact me. If you don't contact me by the 1st of November, I will draw another name out from the list of... I should go back to that video. And I will draw another name out. And I will answer that after the... Answer that. Announce that. After the 1st of November. Oh, 
Right, we are now going to attach these to our blue base. Right, I'm putting them by the edge as if we were going to put a whole mat down. So we've got the same border around three sides as if we were going to put a whole sheet of mat down. And that makes sense because I want a gap in the middle. Do the same this side. Put that down as if there's a mat going down. And then we will put this on our card base. glue this piece in the inside. The only card I've made today with the sentiment inside. Right, now then, let's I should have put the white piece on first, but never mind. Not very even. Can't get this on. That's it. Right. And this is going to go on dimensionals. And we're going to place this in the middle of our card. Here I put silver gems all over the tree. Can't see it, can you? But it does really glisten in the um, light. But this one I'm going to put gold. I wonder if gold will look all right. Yeah, I'm going to put gold. So I am just putting a tiny blob glue on each gem because when I did the silver ones I put too much glue and it made the blue ink run It's just as long to do this as it did to make the card. Right. 
I have missed a branch because it was pretty close to the other one. Use up lots of gems on this, but that's all right. I don't mind. I do have plenty of gems. It's the only thing I've got plenty of. Tell where the glue was then. Right, that's right. glue on the end of my pokey tool. Right, there we are. One Christmas tree and of course you can't see down there. You see how the sparkle is? I'll hold this one up like that as well, you we can see. I think they look quite nice. If you like, and give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting. And I hope to see you again soon.